What happens when you're watching TV and it's noisy? Well, one of the things that we usually do is to turn the TV up, make it a little bit louder, to overcome the noise. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about our Lenten journey, that there's so much noise out there, there's so many distractions, that sometimes we need to turn up the spiritual volume of our lives in order to overcome those distractions. But how do we turn up that volume? Well, paradoxically or ironically, turning up the volume means being quiet. To listen to a TV above a noise, we turn up the volume, we make it louder. For ourselves and our Lenten journey, in order to overcome the distractions, we sit down and we become quiet. And that's something that's very hard for so many of us in our world, in our society today, that we're so used to running around. We're so used to the noise. We're so used to the internet and all the electronic availabilities that we have that we don't know how to be quiet. And so in this Lenten season, as we continue our journey step by step and day by day, one of the important things is to remember that we need to carve that time out to be quiet, to be quiet to listen to our own hearts, to be able to be quiet enough to listen to the voice of God within that heart. As we continue our Lenten journey, coming closer and closer to that midpoint and from that midpoint to Holy Week, let the quietness of our lives remind us that Jesus himself spent time in solitude. In that solitude, he said, Abba, Father, Father, hear me, and Father, let me listen that our wills be one. May God continue to bless you with the gift of silence on this Lenten pilgrimage.